Welcome one and all to this 22nd episode of D&D Series 2. I am Mike. And I am Zoe. And a bit slow. <laughs> but, uh, yes, we are Daddy and Daughter and today we're going to be working on our platformer again. I don't remember where we left off, so let's take a look. <clears throat> all right, oh so yeah, we had coins and then we had PFXs for the coins. Oh yeah, that. Oh, we got PFXs for coins. We got squishing enemies. <gasps> Here we go. Yes. No. That's ah. the German bodybuilder. Oh, oh no. no. That was a high jump. It was weird. That was a really high jump, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was probably because he died and then he jumped. I don't think so. Let's try again. No. That was not. That was a normal Yeah, that was jump. normal. I don't know. <clears throat> I did two of them. Aha, uh -huh. this one looks a bit higher. I, uh, That's odd. No, that one looks normal. So, the way I died is I fell and I sort of air jumped. I'm almost sure of that. Yeah, but now I'm landing before. So, <laughs> that was quite cool though. You see, I'm landing just before, so that won't work. I think it needs to be done while in the air. So, we need to hit the guy from the side, which is a lot harder to do than you would think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Huh, huh. Okay, anyway, enough playing. <clears throat> what we're going to do today is uh, continue with those events, right? We need to figure out the event for uh, when, you, when you've when you lost... Uh, no, when you've lost... Uh, the game says, oh, no, for now, and it acknowledges that you've lost. But it doesn't tell you what to do. And we also don't have an event for winning. <clears throat> so maybe we should start with the ev event for winning. Which we said the condition for winning was going to be killing everybody, right? Now mm -hmm. that's something that the game manager should know. Uh, well, maybe we can ask the game manager to then ask the level to know if all the enemies are dead. Now, when we kill an enemy, right, do we, <clears throat> do we actually get any information from the enemy? I don't know. No, I don't think so. So, the character monitor... Didn't we have a script called Enemy? No. That's some other game, some other time flower. Oh. Okay, so kill character, it's right here. Uh, CC kill character. Let's take a look. Kill character, game object set active. So, <clears throat> this isn't great. <clears throat> we want our level to know that the enemy is either alive or dead, or maybe the enemy itself should know that it's alive or dead, but not really, because the game object is going inactive. So that won't be possible. We could have some kind of uh, boolean for the enemies that are alive or dead. Right. So let's create a private bool array and go enemy alive semicolon. Oh, even better. We could have a list of enemies that are alive and then we can wait 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 I'm thinking I don't know yeah I just leave it as a as an array save okay we're gonna loop through it to check who is dead all right so um, yes I'm thinking the problem is <clears throat> I don't think the enemies have an ID I don't think so at least Do they have an ID? No. Uh, no. No. They don't have an ID. So that means we can't just go and grab their information. But we could give them an ID. So we're also going to create an int for the enemy IDs. Okay. So right here, go private int array. Enemy IDs. That one well. One these. Yeah. And Nemi. And Nemi. IDs. Enemy. IDs. Save. Okay. So when we set up the level, or rather when we reset the level, uh, or is it set up? No, when we set up the level, we should give them IDs. 
and it will be fairly simple. We just go in a row, really, mm -hmm. right? So we're gonna say copy this, paste it here, copy this, paste it here, and copy this, paste here, and here. Save. Now, is this a vector three? No. What is it's an it? Eight. Okay. And is this a <coughs> is this That's a, a bull? bull? Bull. Save. Okay, so now enemy IDs can be assigned. Copy it. Paste it in here. I. Square bracket I. Equals one. What's the idea of this enemy? What is it? Dum 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 da da dum dum dum. The enemies don't dum, like. Dum. What? The enemies don't like. What? So every enemy would have the ID of the length of the enemy. That sounds smart. No. The ID needs to be unique. What is the only element in a loop that changes all the time? I. Potato. Yes, the ID is I. Semicolon. So the ID of the first enemy is going to be? What? One. No. Zero. Lies. Yes, zero. The second one is going to be one. And the last one is going to be? Uh, the last one. Whatever the number, so enemies dot length. No, nope. minus one. Enemies oh, dot length yeah. minus one. We are zero, zero based. Yeah. Okay, so enemy alive copy. Uh, actually, no. We don't really need it. At the moment in which you have created the thing, it will default to all of them being false, which is just fine by me. But in the reset level, we need to tell every one of these that they are alive. So we're going to say paste i Oops. equals what? When you reset the level. When you reset it, yes, true. So all the enemies are alive. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now every enemy has their ID. The issue here is that the enemy class does not have uh, its own ID. Maybe. Let, let's go check. Yeah, I don't see it. Right, so we will create uh, uh, an ID uh, in here. Okay, so we're gonna say private int and go character ID one t too many. Oh yeah. Semicolon. Save. Now in setup, we're gonna get that ID. Okay, so we're gonna say int id not no variables with caps say comma comma say okay now <clears throat> except the player's probably going to have an id of negative one but we'll figure that out so here you want to say id or whatever you called it character id character id equals id There we go. Not control -E. So that's done. There. And now what we could do here is we can tell the level. Okay. Huh, but I don't know that we have a reference to the level. Well, maybe the game manager does. I think the game manager has an active level, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, so go to game manager. Dot script dot active level. Huh? Dot active level. It it's fine, it'll fix there. itself. It'll fix itself. Yeah, active level, active level. Okay, now wait, we don't we don't have a, a method for that, so let's go and build it. So you want a public void and go kill character and receive an int ID. Close the round, open a squiggle. One too many enters. Just close the screen, it'll fix itself. Save. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do here, okay, we need to fix a few things. But anyway, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say that the enemy alive is gonna go false, right? So copy that. So enemy, uh, yeah, paste. What index? Uh, I. D. What? ID, that's better. ID is gonna be what? So we're killing it, so it's gonna be false. Semicolon. Okay. Now, uh, 
I think these are now useless probably. Uh, and what we're gonna do is instead of turning off the character controller like this we're gonna do it from the other side so cut this put it here and just say copy this paste it here square bracket ID close square bracket dot save okay so that's how we turned it off <clears throat> Yeah, so these enemy IDs are think are probably pointless. Yes, let's delete this and delete this and delete this. Save. Okay, so now, oh, whoa. What is that? I think I must have middle clicked and you were holding shift and it does something, I guess. I don't know. So, <clears throat> reset level, set up, enemy positions. This is for the enemy, so let's give him an idea that will be I. So I comma. Now this is for Hans, negative one, comma. Or I dot. Got it. Save. Okay, so we're missing a semicolon somewhere here. So active level dot kill character. Mm -hmm. Open round. Send your own ID. So it's character ID, I think. Close the round, semicolon. Okay, so we have a problem. What's the problem? Save. Uh, can Hans die? Hans? Yeah. Yes, he can die. Will he get this called? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I think so. I don't know who calls it, but my guess is, yep, it gets oh, called. Oh, yeah, there it is. So that means that he's going to call kill character on the active level and send him his ID. What's his ID? Uh, Hans's ID would be minus one. Negative one. So, so if we're here and we receive negative one, can we use it as an index? No, we can't. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do here is we need is to we say... we need to give it a zero. Yes. <coughs> well, no, we need to say, no, we don't need to give it a zero. If you give it a zero, we're going to, we're going to then kill an enemy that isn't killed. What you need to do here is you need to check if the ID is higher than negative one. So you go if open round ID higher than negative one higher the other way of flower the other way negative one close round open squiggle and now you close the squiggle at the end of this save right now let's go check how we die or how we trigger the uh, the dead CC receive state dead let's go take a look receive state dead change state to he this is just expressions so we don't care how do we get that oh no to be triggered maybe start tm go routine that looks about right there it is i don't want this to be called here i want this to be called uh in the level editor so in the level so let's cut this Put it right here, here put an else, open another squiggle, now paste it, save, right, because now we're transitioning to the death screen, only if we know that Hans has died, but here what we can do now that we've killed an enemy, right, we can check if all the enemies are dead, mm -hmm. okay, and we should save character mode before we forget, done, I saved everything, 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 Okay, so here we're gonna do void, actually bool, <coughs> check uh, victory. Don't know. Yeah, check victory. Open close round. Save. <coughs> okay, now check victory is unhappy. Why? Because it, it hasn't been returned. Because it Does doesn't it? return anything. That's right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna loop through the enemy alive, okay? <clears throat> so you go four, hit tab twice. Mm -hmm. And now you copy enemy alive, paste it here, dot length. Now hit enter. Well, tab first, then enter, yeah. And it puts you right here in the middle. Oops, not that, I put the... How dare you? Save. Okay, now we're gonna check that the enemy alive is alive. If a single enemy alive what is alive what do we do 
then we don't win. We don't win. So we return what? So we return a false. False. So copy this. And go if. Oops. Control Z is your friend. If. Open round. Paste. Of what index? Uh, I. Mm -hmm. Close round. So if the enemy is if one enemy is alive, we haven't won. Open a squiggle. Hit enter. Close the squiggle. Return. What do we return here? So you return. Or return. We return. <laughs> we return what? One enemy is alive. We know that. So we return. So we go uh, enemy alive. No. False. We just false. Return false. Or affles. Affles. That's also false. Uh, fills. It's affal. It's affles. affles. Still, it's still not happy. Save. It's still not happy. Why not? <clears throat> uh. Because we haven't returned the whole thing. Nope, we have returned something. Why is it not happy? What does it say? Not all code paths return a value. But that says it all the time when we don't when we haven't returned. Not exactly. We're returning at some point, but we're not returning in some other. What situation is there in this code that can make it so that we in fact don't have a return? After the four. After the four. What would that mean? That every if single enemy is dead. Is dead. So return. So return true. Or return, return, return. True. So, all right. Now we can check for victory right here. We're gonna say if open round, check for victory, or check victory, whatever we call it. There you go. Check victory. Open close rounds. Close the round again. Open a squiggle. Okay. Save. So if we check victory, therefore it's true. What do we do? We display the text. Copy, paste, change that. Two. One. Win. One. Alright, so yeah. let's test if this works, because it should. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Oh, Comp uh, oh dear. Uh. Come on, Unity. Ah, save. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wrote something wrong. I know. Save. You're the one who was wrong in the first place. Let's see if it now compiles properly. Look, down here. Yes. Okay. Here, you do the honor. Kill everyone, Zoe. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. Let's see if you can. We're gonna give you two <laughs> attempts. Three attempts. <laughs> we need Oops. to. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> That's one attempt gone. Second life. <laughs> she she gets the vantage point. There's the there's a coin. There's another coin, which you're four headed. <laughs> oh, that's two lives. Last life. Hate the bottom guys. There's so many of them. So you put them there. <laughs> it's your level design. This. <laughs> well, How did? Oh. Because you just waited. My turn. You lost. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. There's daddy. That's how the pros do it. Oh dear. <laughs> How'd he? And now, oh, yes! <laughs> so it's taken a bit to say yes, which is okay. It's because of the... Point? Um, no. But that would be a cool thing. It's because of the animation. So mm. the animation, while it's playing, it doesn't count as you, you, you're you done, right? So, ooh, hello, boink. Uh, uh. So apparently the enemy gets killed officially when the animation finishes, which makes sense, really. See, now the enemy got killed. Yes! <laughs> and and we, we end up down here. So what we should do is we should have an animation for Hans being really happy. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, how should it look like? It should go like... Wait, they can't see this. <laughs> I don't know. Let's let's go do it. <laughs> let's go do it. Mm -hmm, but he doesn't have thumbs, so I don't think he doesn't he have thumbs. Do what a what an evil evil. He man. also has gloves on, so I don't think he would be able to. He should probably that. go flex his muscles, like sure, yeah. sure, yeah, while yeah. smiling. Yeah. And and she should loop in both directions. I think maybe something and like she that. She should loop. She 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 she. I meant he. <laughs> he should loop. 
Mm-hmm. Well, jury's still out whether he's a she or a he. What do you think? Is he a he? Uh, Hans. He. There he is. There he is. Whoa, look at him. Fabulous. <laughs> this is jump animation. I know. Okay, so mm-hmm. which one would be good? Probably the idol. Probably the idol would be good to start from, right? So this one won't matter if left or right, right? But we need to remember to make him turn in the right direction too. So that's another thing. Okay, so we let's should make him turn towards us. Towards the camera, I agree. Maybe the camera should even zoom in and go like this is Hans. Yeah. Be awesome. Anyway, we'll worry about that yet later. So Hans Idol. Um Hans. <laughs> what? Hans Idol. Hans Idol. <laughs> Yeah, Hans, I renamed this one to Hans Win Or Quinn. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna f this one. Okay, it's saved now. It's fud. Uh hit B. Bleed. Okay. <laughs> Why is he elevated from ground? This is weird. Bring you down, Hans. I'm not sure why. I mean, hmm, that's odd. Wait a moment. Let me check here. Hans death. No. Hans idol elevated from ground. Hans head. Oh. 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 Oi. Hello. Oi. That look is to me like a buggies. Look at him. Look at him flex in his pecs. <laughs> what are his pecs? Uh, it should be called pectorals. It's the fr- front muscles here. Oh, no. the, the muscles that for a woman would be under her breasts. Oh. Yeah. So these ends it right here? No, further up. I oh, don't mean under on the y axis, I mean under on the z axis. Oh, so Behind. That... Yes. yes. Behind that. Yes. <laughs> okay, that was weird, but sure. <laughs> Alright, so we've got this done here. Um, let's see. Uh, we said he needs to flex, right? So, so, how do they flex? Let's let's go find a bodybuilder who flex. We need to show the people. Show the people. I'm working show the on people. it. Show the people. Oh, you're obnoxious like your dad is. It doesn't want to go. Grab the whole Google, of course. The whole Google? What? Google. Grab the whole Google. It's I meant Duck, duck go. It's not Google. And uh, YouTube and Mail Maka Outlook. Oh, that's gotta go. All right. Oh, it's got all of our. Uh, it's got all of our bookmarks too. The uh, sadness. All right. So, it. what was I gonna do? Right. We need to look for bo- bodybuilder flex. That's the kind of thing you look up with your child ch- children. With your church. Ch- children. I get stuck all day today. Look at this guy. Uh, this guy. So we need to do something like this, basically. Right? Yeah, something like this would be cool. <laughs> it's funny, too. Look at him. Uh, this guy's very serious. Okay. This guy has more. Not that that can be true, but it's funny. That's a video game character looks like. Looks like Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. Okay. Anyway, so I think we found a few. Uh, I think the best ones would be... What happened to this fella? Look at the veins. That's a little bit too much testosterone flower. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, yes, so we were flexing. This one is not bad. But yeah, I like the one on the side more. So it's going to be kind of hard to execute, but let's see what we can do. Plus, we can probably engorge his arms. If <laughs> okay, so let's see. First of all, we need to turn him. So hit R, Z. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Now, R. So wait. He looks yeah. like he's saying hi. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Hit R again. We do need to bend up his... R. Like that. R. His arms are quite small. Yeah, well, let's change that. Hit S. X. 
<laughs> okay, just hit S. His arms no. are very big. Rotate this. <laughs> uh, rotate. 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 He's like, I'm the best person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> rotate. Okay, so he's got I'm a bit handsome. of problems with, with <laughs> rotate again. There. There, we go. there you go. There you go. Watch this. Oh, yes. If one of his eyes is because the other is massive. <laughs> <laughs> that should be funny. Okay, wait, rotate the, yeah, rotate the clavicle, R, X, Z. <laughs> R again. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, we need to rotate his head for the back. Rotate. He's, he's got proper posture. Ta-da! I'm the best person in the world! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, hit A to select all. Again. I lock root scale. Boom. Okay. Now. Ah. Look. It looks like we missed the spine. What the, what the, what? This is so strange. Lock root scale. Hit G for me. Hmm. That works. What what bone is this spine? It's not there. This spine bone doesn't exist. I'm confusing you. The root is here. This spine is here. This spine is not being selected. Oh. So this thing doesn't exist, and this thing is called hips. So we can delete this thing. Hit delete here. Yeah, it's disappeared. Okay, save now. Let's go take a look if there's any other animations that have that spine. It could cause us issues. There you go, there's another one. I think all of them have them. Yeah, well, we, we have an issue now because it means our spine isn't really behaving as it should because these belong not to the spine but to the hip and where's the hip here there is no hip that's the issue we've lost the hip okay so hit uh hit i we need to fix all of these hit i lock rot scale this must have been yeah because we renamed them after uh so that's a problem hmm i think we should just keep it spine and avoid the trouble i don't think so flower yeah, that's a problem. Okay, so rotate this one on the z-axis. We already have the trouble, so we can't really avoid it. I lock rot scale. <clears throat> okay, let's rotate this a bit. Hit R. Z. I lock rot scale. And I think this is actually supposed to be further up too. Yeah, so let's move it a bit. I lock rot scale. Now we're gonna go, okay, here, hit R. I lock rot scale. I have no idea if we're doing it the way it was before, obviously not, but R to rotate, or whatever letter you've pressed. R, I lock rot scale. So let's see if this is working. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, now this one. We need to fix all of them, unfortunately. Uh, R, Z. Huh. Okay, let's do this. I, long rot scale. So I'm going to every one of the frames we had up here. I have no idea whether I'm doing a good job or not. Uh, R, Z. I, long rot scale. This may be excessive, right? We'll see. Uh, R, Z, just R, okay, sure, and R again, I, lock, rot, scale, 
R. I lock that scale. So this is frame 45. Let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. Look at him, he's very sad. No, 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 no. Actually, he's German, so he's going nine. Okay. Hit B. Save. This may have caused some of the issues we had. Unfortunately, this is going to take a bit of time to fix. Ah, it's not too bad. We don't have that many, right? So there are no hips here either. So hit I, lock rot scale. Hit I, lock rot scale too. And now there's one in the middle apparently. I have no idea what it was, but let's try. Okay, as we can see, these hips are wrong now. So let's pull them up a bit. Hit I, lock rot scale. I lock root scale. I lock uh, don't hit shift D. That's why our character wasn't on the ground sometimes, even in the game probably. So now this one's in the middle. Now hit I lock root scale. Uh, actually, before you do that, hit R. I lock root scale. Let's see if this is good. He has a huge chest. No, I don't like it at all, this shifting backwards. We're just gonna leave the spine, I mean the hips alone. Now, hold shift. Release. Okay, let's look at how this looks like. Save. Her brother just got hurt. That's what he does, really, it's his hobby. Okay, <clears throat> so now hit I locker scale right away. Do it again. Oh, wait. It's already there. Hips. These are already hips. Hmm? Maybe we made them after we made the Save. change. No, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's hips here too. And hips. hips too. So there were just a few animations that Spine, had spine, spine, right there. Yeah, so this what is, is this? the... Hans Land. Hans Land. Okay. Hans again. <laughs> Hans Land. So... This one is supposed to be him on the ground, so go I lock red scale now. Yeah, and this one's supposed to be him in the air a bit, so go I lock red scale. Now we need to delete the spine. Yeah, hold shift, release, give it a save. So now we've got a problem because we need to remember where these are. Okay, uh, <clears throat> well we can't really, ah, it's not a big deal. There, hit I lock root scale right away. It already has it. Hips right there. Yeah, that's interesting. It looks like all of the mirrored animations are fine. Ooh, Hips up there. Yeah, okay, the walk one is good. Good because Yeah, the walk one is good. Here. Cool. Oh, it's, it's off, it's off Pixio, somehow. Okay, now we need to animate this this thing. <clears throat> so how should it look like? I Ma think soon he should go like the same, but mirrored. Mirrored, okay, so yeah. He should like, like jump <gasps> in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Hmm. I think that the arm is too large too soon, so hit Alt-S here. Alt-S. Yeah, I lock root scale. Okay, now... Duplicate this entire thing. Shift D. Oops. Now hit S. I lock root scale. Are your fingers too fat that you can hit like one key? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I just hit I though. <laughs> no, you didn't. You hit Z. That's why this happened. I know, but bef but then I hit I. I understand, but you hit Z first. Okay, so rotate this now. Let's let's pose them a bit. Now I hit R. I lock root scale. I know, but no, it's, I. It's, it's happened quite a few times this evening. Rotate again. I lock root scale. Less than I hit it right though. I obviously yeah, one would hope. Wait, R first. R again. Uh, hold shift. I lock root scale. Release shift. I lock root scale. 
Okay, rotate again. Hmm. I lock root scale. Make this bigger. It's gonna be stupid. <laughs> I lock root scale. Okay. Uh, he doesn't look muscular this. at all on this one. That's the, don't tell him. He gets offended if you do. Uh, R. <laughs> yeah, rotate. so there's no uh, muscular b brain then. B b I lock root scale. Rotate on Z. He also has a big head. Z. It's very boxy. I lock, lock root scale. No, we need him to face his fist. So rotate Z. Let's <laughs> uh, get rotate. I look at scale. His hands touching rotate. his foot. I look at scale. So quite a lot of animation is about detail. So you always want to spend a bit of time just messing around with it. Okay, uh, art rotate. I look at scale. Now he's touching his foot again. Rotate again. <laughs> I rock the scale. Lock root scale. Let's four. try and rescale this one to smaller. S. Mm. There. He's got a big biceps. I lock root scale. Okay, let's just duplicate this. Shift D. And drag it here. Let's see what effect this does. So. Um, how how it looks like? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's already pretty good. Uh, he's dancing. He's dancing. We should rotate his arm here a bit too. We should flip, mirror him too. I look that's good. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. He's fist pumping. <laughs> okay, obviously we need more details here, right? Mm -hmm. And what I think we're gonna do, we're gonna make him shake like, <laughs> like that. So hit G and move this. Yeah, it can be a, quite a bit far. Hit G again. Let's put it at 24. Okay, now you said you want to mirror all of these. So what we're gonna do to do that is uh, hit B to box select. Hit Shift D. Shift D. Got weird hiccups. I'm not even sure why. Okay, so let's say here, say A to select all. No, here, A to select all. Yeah, control C, control V. I lock <laughs> 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 That's so funny. <laughs> okay, copy. He's like, yay, 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 yay. Paste. I lock out scale. If you named all of your bones correctly, this thing is going to be very easy. Copy paste. I look what's good. So we're now in frame 55. Let's take a look. <laughs> but too slow. No, no, but he's doing real. Look, look, at, look, at, look at the flip. <laughs> now let's lift him in the air while he's flipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I lock root scale. He's like he's doing jumping jacks. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> but it snaps right back to the other. It's hilarious. It's funny. But it snaps or from here. It snaps right back to. I that. know it snaps. We haven't done it yet. <laughs> haven't done it yet. So this one, just select all the bones again. I. Uh, a I lock rot scale. So we're going to take all of the bones so we can then use them all and do all sorts of crazy things. Um, so here he was facing left. It's fine that he's facing forward. Now let's see if we can do something about his his silly legs. No, but they, they're kind of okay. But anyway, hit R to rotate. Mm. R to rotate. He looks like a pig. He is a bit of a pig. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. R to rotate. Uh, wait a moment. R to rotate. Mm -hmm. R to rotate. R to rotate. Z. 
No, no, leave, leave, leave. It's fine. There we go. Ha! I'm fabulous. Fabulous. A. Copy. Handsome. No, A first. Again. Copy. Paste. Did you paste it? You copy your potato. Okay. I, I didn't Lokrutska. do any. Neither. <laughs> I lock it together. Okay. So now he would need to blend back to this one, right? So we are stopping at 59. Let's see. So he's not blending correctly. Um, I think the reason why this is, is we need to end here on the same frame. So duplicate this to so shift D. And let's end at 63. Let's see. Okay, so one thing I don't really like is how he twists his head very, very quickly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move his head, uh, his neck uh, animation further. Okay, that's the first step. So hit G. Shouldn't we do the, a bit of the messing thing? Hit G, we'll do it soon. This is part of it. A little too fast too, I think. No, a little too slow. He would need to be there faster. So let's duplicate this. Shift D now, Control D. Duplicate this one. Let's see if he snaps in that position. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Look at his arm work. <laughs> okay, so now we need his um, arms, this one, to go a little bit earlier. Uh, so hit G. Now hit Shift D. Now put it here too. And what we're gonna do between these is we're gonna jitter the arm. Maybe even the neck, okay? So hit G. I mean R. Well, sure, G is fine. Okay, I lock rot scale. G. 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 I lock rot scale. scale. Let's see if this works. Yeah, he's going like, Hurr. yeah, it's a little bit weird, that jitter. There's a few that are excessive, I think. Okay, so one thing that's weird is his hand is growing incorrectly. This one, see, it's going down back here. But, so it's not moving as fast now. So let's move this one, hit G. Okay, let's see how this looks like. Okay, that's not bad. If we can be a little bit more subtle. Okay, so hit G. All right, look for scale. G. I look at scale. G. I look at scale. Let's try this. Hmm. Not sold. Do you like it? Mm, not sold either. Let's try and leave in a bit of separation between those. 
Yes. I think that's much better. Yeah, that's much better. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we... We, we need put to, it over there, too. Yeah, we need to match all of these changes. So uh, you want to say G... G... Ah, oh, wait, that's wrong arm. Actually, this is wrong arm also. We need to go forearm left. G... And then upper arm left, G. Okay, now shift D. Again. 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 That should be it. Okay, now here, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is you hit G. I, block road scale. G. Whoa! Wait a second. There. I lock road scale. And now I lock road scale. Now let's see if this is alright. So his fist is going up in scale. I think that here. Yeah, so the forearm what the why is the forearm oh hmm. right 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 because of this problem so here hit s for me i block rot scale let's see how this goes yeah that's good now on this side we need to go uh, right here s i lock road scale all right <sighs> yeah we should make him jitter quite a lot more on various parts of his body anyway for now i think we'll stop like we doing... need to smile his mustache first well, yeah, but that's a separate and uh, separate file. Remember? I know, I know. So that's we can start. We can start with this for now. <clears throat> okay, so give it a save. Control S. We can refine this animation to our heart's content later, right? We're gonna leave it as it is for now. We've got stuff to do, and we it's we've got ten minutes only. Exactly. Okay, so mismatch layer group repaint. Okay, hopefully it'll be okay. Now let's add one animation, and we're gonna choose Han Swin. Now, for Hans Win, it's loop time, loop poses zero, that's it. Let's see, let's see him in action. Look at him, he's happy. Mm -hmm. There he's landing with sad eyes. Uh, you see? And sad moustache too, he's just desperate. He okay. desperate landing. Desperate landing. With okay. his back butt turned to us. Yes. Like right. he doesn't so, like us. Uh, Hans animation. Let's go to the animator. So here we got a bunch of states, right? Uh, what we want is we want another state that we can't exit, just like death. All right. So we're gonna create a new state. Empty. Make transition. Okay. Just like that. And this state is going to be called win with a capital W. Mm -hmm. The motion is going to be Hans win and uh, speed can be one, sure. Now we're going to need a transition and the transition needs a trigger. So let's add one. Call it win. Ah, uh, capital. Woo win. Okay, so it's win, add a condition, win. Let's change the blending. Actually, I don't know how this is going to look like. <laughs> it goes right, 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 right away. That's quite funny. I like it. You can see it from the beginning if you, if you move this guy over here. Watch, watch carefully. See, he goes very quickly. I like it. I think it's good. 
generally speaking, I like quick animations. Uh, snappy animations are cool. So <clears throat> this state is still called state, so call it win, win, capital W win. I don't know why it happened, hit enter. There, that's better. Okay, so we got the win state. Uh, we got the win trigger, that's fantastic. Now, who knows that uh, Hans is done? The level does. Mm -hmm. Does the game manager know who Hans is? Yes, he does. He does, yeah. Okay, so we can tell the game uh, to go to the game manager and have Hans win, right? Mm -hmm. TM go routine win. Um, yes. So we could add that. Uh, I don't really like this. Shouldn't we add an animation for win in the. Yeah, routine? no, but we will. But what I'm saying is that uh, at this time we are going to misuse this particular function to win. This. Yeah, we're already kind of doing it, but it's fine. So header type none, header type. I call it blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we can't really use this one, really. I guess we're gonna do here. Do it here. No, we're not gonna do it here. We're gonna stay in the level. Yeah, let's do it right here. So we're gonna say, <clears throat> uh, we're gonna say game manager dot script dot hands. Wait, doesn't the level have a player as well? No. No, the level. Aha. Yeah, like this. Okay, just copy this. Paste, and here you're gonna say uh, dot. Ah, oh, wait. We need to. We need to make him win or something. Character controller win or whatever. Hmm. Receive state could work. Trigger expression and change state. So I think the change in state is for. Uh, Let's take a look at the expression states in the game manager. And they're not here. So it's in Hansen's expression. Alive, dead, win. Save. Okay, so character controller. Yeah, so we're gonna call receive state. So let's go back to our level. Hans dot receive state. Open round. Tab dot win close okay there we go receive state win so now that we've received the state we're gonna go to the hans expressions and change state case oh wait a moment this is just for the stash and the yeah well i mean we're probably gonna keep this so yeah just do it just do it do a case expression state win <laughs> tab dot win you sit straight for a while yeah. yeah okay so win colon come on you know how to do this braille that went well have you heard of the tab key say okay leave it here for now just put a comment go uh, need animations for eyes and stuff Okay, so we're just gonna bite the bullet and create a new uh, function here. So call it public void, cubic void. That's uh, that uh, that sounds all sorts of wrong, but uh, yes, <clears throat> it's a pubic void. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. It's a good thing you have no idea what I've just said. Let's continue. Uh, so say win or something. Capital W I N. Mm -hmm. you, you you can't do the, the W capital, can you? <laughs> Win. Okay. Open close rounds. Let's focus, please. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's focus, please. Control A. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> now you zoom then. <laughs> uh huh. It's my fault, is it? Okay. So let's carry on. So we got Win here. Remember, um, once one person said he couldn't see very well like this. That's true. Let's make it a bit bigger. So when, um, what are we going to do? Right. We need to change that expression. So instead of receive state, we're going to call win. Say win here. 
open close around save okay now let's go take a look at what kill character does kill character character ID okay that's in uh, where again active level Wow, this is like a spaghettio going back and forth like crazy. Uh, <laughs> it's a spaghettio. Uh, spaghetti code oh, is, spaghetti is code. code that basically uh, goes into itself and then back out, and it's really, really difficult to follow. So. Like a spaghetti that is all over the other spaghetti. Yes, like that. You clearly demonstrate you can understand a, an analogy. Okay. So, I don't remember where I was. Um, I don't think... Yeah, well, there should be something in Game Manager to win. At the moment, we don't have it, so we'll worry about that later. But win, and this one should trigger the expression. Now, the expression... Not the expression, but the, rather the movements. Now, I'm sure that those movements exist here uh, in the character motor. Now, let's see. Kill enemy. Jump is true. Okay, now that's not it. Uh, die. Let's take a look at die. Uh, death routine, death routine. Okay, there are the routines for death, right? And you can see that we're getting a slow mo, uh, local rotation, blah, 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 blah. These matter to us. Alive, false, CC collider enabled. The collider, well, I guess, can stay. The velocity needs to be stopped, I guess. The animator, so we need, we need to access this, right? And here it's CC kill character. So. Receive state, we've already done that, or we'll do it here. Yeah, let's do it here. So here you go, receive state. Yeah, what's wrong there? Game manager. No, it's not. Receive state is here, you just can't spell to save your life. Receive, like... Open round, hit tab. Hit tab, dot. When close the round, semicolon. Okay, so that's the expressions done. Now we need to deal with the body, and the character motor needs something for this, I think. Um, we're just gonna say public void. Not public this time. Not this time. Win. Again. Open close rounds. Save. Now let me see the booleans we've got here. Grounded, can jump, hit, just jump around, can interact. We need alive, to sort that code. Set up. What? We need to sort that code. Look at the mess there. That's not that bad. But yeah. Uh, alive. I don't... Basically, I want to stop all, all input. Right? And in order to stop all input, we could turn alive to off. The problem is... No, this is... This gives us... Yeah, that's not what we want. Alive is fine. Um, let's add a new one. Go private bull. I'm, I'm just about fed up of your mistake, Zoe. Fix it. Private bull uh, uh, is active, something like that. semicolon save copy this so is active needs to turn to true when we set it up right when we set the character up so we're gonna say paste equals true semicolon okay now copy all of this and we're gonna go and say is active is false here paste and just type false yeah hit tab it's already there that's good. Save. So is active is false. Um, now we're going to put is active is false even in death. So copy this one. And we're going to go to death routine. We're going to be a bit careful though. We're going to be a bit careful. Um, uh, we're just going to leave it here for now. And here we're going to say um, let's copy from not here but from Where are you? Here, copy this. If the animator is not null, paste it. And then instead of die, what do we do? Win, mm. capital W, save. Okay, 
that'll do. Now win is here, it's fine. We need to call it from here, so let's go cm.win. cm.win. Open close rounds. Wait, tab first, open close rounds, semicolon. Save. Okay, so that's good too. And now the last thing we need to do inside the character motor, we need to put one massive uh, gate here where we say if open round uh, in what did we call it? Is active, I think. There it is. Close round, open squiggle, enter, enter, close it. Save. Now we're going to copy, or rather cut, all of this rubbish. Cut this. Plop. Isn't it scary when all the code goes away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paste. Save. And then it all comes back. All comes back. And then there's a lot of saving. Okay, so this is done. This is done. This should work. And so it should stop us from moving when we win, I think. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so care check victory. What if we win in the air? It'll stop us in the air and we'll just do the cool move in the air. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see. Right, we'll worry about all of these details later. Yeah, we'll do all of our flexing in the air. Um, check victory. It's in kill character. Check victory. Hans win. Okay, that should do. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You test it. ta -da! Press start. Let's go. Go. All right, you got three lives, all right? Okay. Make it count. Make her little German bodybuilder proud so he can flex. Oh, I think we have a problem. Uh, we'll worry about that in a bit. Actually, we'll worry about it next time. He's going to be flexing the wrong, the wrong rotation for sure. I think. Like a champ. <laughs> That was very challenging. <laughs> See if I can kill the last one. I think. I need to get there first, though. Bong. Bong. <laughs> so you floated down there fairly gently. That was interesting. Not sure what's happening there. Okay, he's flexing and he's also to... moving. He's moving. <laughs> Do you know why he's moving? Because his legs are. <laughs> no, because we haven't touched his rot his um, rigid body, so he'll carry on going. Look at him though. He's and really... then he'll fall. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that happens. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> oh. oh, actually, no, 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 no physics. I think he's gonna float in the wall. <laughs> yeah, let's see if he goes through the wall. He's blinking. He's just happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's leaving. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> He's done. He's done being with us. All right. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>